So I don't know really why I've been sitting on all these uh, Animal Crossing amiibos for such a long time, but uh, <laughs> I guess now that Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons is coming out, it's probably a good time to sort of crack into them and look at every single Animal Crossing uh, amiibo. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's start off with the ones that we already have open. Uh, we have Isabel and... is it Digby? Yeah, I think it's Digby. <laughs> From the wildly popular Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Wow. Uh, but yeah, there they are. Super cute, adorable, love them. Cute, cute little brother and sister. Nice little pair. Then we can move over to the Isabel and uh, Villager from uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, <laughs> I like the villager. It's very neat. This is very classic style. And of course, Isabel, and this is, I think, her summer outfit, because in this one, she's wearing a little cardigan and her and her dress. And this time, she's just got like a little, a little sweater vest on. <gasps> Equally adorable. Okay, let's actually start cracking into some new ones. And I've had these ever since they came out. Um, which is sometime in 2015. <laughs> really? Have I had them that long? Okay. But yeah, they're all brand new, unopened, and we are going to look at every single one of them. Uh, we're going to start it off with Kinks. The guy that shines your shoes and helps you change your shoe color. Is he actually going to have a shoe shop in the new game? Possibly? Here we have him. I think he's like... A little skunk? Maybe a badger? A badger? Is he a badger? <laughs> I don't know. He's a skunk or badger. Look, I never quite learned what he was. Either way, doesn't matter. Uh, he's... I, I like that very long, pointy snout. He's very cute. He looks quite dapper in his sort of like... <laughs> one of the, Like an English popper <laughs> sitting at the corner of a street just like, Shine your shoes, sir! Shine your shoes, sir! Um, very nice. Uh, anyway, moving on, we are going to take a look at Lottie. Uh, Lottie is one of the otters from the HSA. Uh, I wonder why they made Lottie, but didn't make, um... God, what is the other one called? I can't remember the other one's name. Anyway, uh, basically the other HSA rep, the male otter... Or I feel like I'm trying to save that. I'm not. Uh, but either way, I like her little red uh, jacket. It's very cute, reminiscent of those whole of of those um, <laughs> of those realtors with their nifty little colored jackets when they go and show people houses. But she looks very happy, and I like that great big otter grin. What this weird seam here? Either way, very cute. Uh, let's move on to yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna go down the row. Next one is Rover. You all know Rover. Rover is the cat that helps you pick your face. He helps you decide what you look like in your town. Um, typically, you would see him on like the train or bus or whatever. But yeah, he like shows up and helps you sort of determine what your face will look like by asking you questions about your character and all that sort of stuff. I think, I, I mean, I would have to assume that he's going to be in this new game. We'll find out. I like his little checkerboard uh, sweater. Very nice. And also, he's a cat. I like cats. Uh, next is Tom Nook. I'm sort of just trying to fly through these. <laughs> There isn't really anything, like, super special here. It's just, I don't know. Why not open them all? That way I can have them ready and uh, raring to go for when uh, the Animal Crossing game comes out. But here we have Tom Nook looking a little bit pudgy with his little belly here. Um, I like his green sweater and his red tie. Stands out very nicely. And he's just, oh, so... I don't know, like... It's not, like, a tired look. It's just, like, a very... Ah, uh, yes, I'm I'm good. I'm content with life. Uh, sort of half-closed eye uh, <laughs> raccoon face. And, of course, a cute little tanuki tail. Honestly, 
Very nice looking character. Very dapper. Very proper man. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, we have Celeste, Blather's sister, who helps in the uh, museum, mostly tending to the observatory and helping you with the stars. Honestly, unlike Celeste, she's a very cute little owl, char uh, owl character. And I, I love how, like, they don't wear clothes, but she's got, like, a little librarian vest on. <laughs> a museum curator vest, just like her brother Blathers. Uh, and I don't know. She's very adorable. I like her pink bow. Very cute. <laughs> I hope that constellations come back. I really do, actually. Uh, I'm going to save this one till last, I think. I should have put it down there. All right, next we have Captain, who, I know that they have those two, oh God, it's still so new that I don't know like all the characters' names and I'm, I'm okay with that because like I want to sort of go in there without a large amount of knowledge, but you got Captain, who takes you uh, from the mainland to the island I like his little turtle shell. The designs in it is cool. Man. <laughs> I didn't even notice like his little sunglasses. Those are so neat. <laughs> He's ready for a Hawaiian vacation. I'm ready for the islands. Honestly, I hope that we see him. I hope that all these guys come back. <clears throat> then we got Isabel again. And this time it's Isabel from the Animal Crossing series in her summer outfit so it's the summer outfit for the uh animal crossing one like because the other one is for the smash brothers actually kind of curious to see if there's like any sort of like major difference between the two of them the colors are certainly different like she's kind of a little bit more animated like her limbs are a little bit thicker longer she's a little bit chubbier <laughs> I don't know. There's just like sort of more life to her in this one, but but all in all, she's a very nice, cute-looking little pupper. <laughs> uh, Isabel is a nice uh, addition to the party, and I know that she'll be in the new Animal Crossing. What function that she serves, I don't know. Well, I do sort of know. She helps out with some stuff, but I will be excited to see her roll flesh out. Uh, next up in the owl category, we have Blathers, also with a nice little vest, <laughs> cardigan. Uh, I like Blathers. Blathers is nice. I like that he was always, like, scared of bugs. He looks great. I like all the little, like, details around the, the eye ridges there. Very, very nice owl. <laughs> next, Mabel. Did they, do, did they ever do a sable? I don't I mean, they didn't just got Mabel. The good sister. Alright, now I'm curious. Now I have to make sure that I have them all. <laughs> so I was right. There was only there was only Mabel, no Sable. But <laughs> I I like how a lot of these older characters they have like these these big like red puffy cheek sort of look. Uh, Mabel is very nice. I think that there is lots of nice detail in her, uh, in her head quills. Uh, I always liked the Mabel, the Mabel, the, the Mabel sisters. Uh, I thought that that was like one of the, one of the first places where you can like really design things and create your own life in the world. And I love, I loved, uh, designing shirts and then seeing them sort of like spread throughout the town when people like traded them and saw them in the shop. I thought it was cute. Next. Okay, next we have Timmy and Tommy. The wide-eyed demon spawn of Tom Nook. Helping out in dad stores. <clears throat> I'm glad that it comes with a little uh, leaf crate. I think it's very nice. They did that very well. Uh, very nice to do that instead of like any sort of like weird like plastic shoe or pole uh <laughs> i like their little aprons their aprons make them look so cute and there's a lot of detail in there too 
a lot of like, little fine line work. Uh, I don't know. They're very they're very cute. I'm glad that they have like a sort of like because this is more like the the Nook's cranny look rather than Nookington's, which is more what uh, Mr. Nook here looks like. <laughs> uh, they're just I don't know like the way that they the way that they talk sort of like over top of each other and sort of like like double talk. It's weird, uh, but that's fine. I would like to see the, their role expanded. I want to know more about the, the Nook twins. I want to see them overthrow their dad. Right, so next, we have Mr. Fucking Rossetti. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Mr. Rossetti. He's the guy that shows up when you uh, time travel badly and push the reset button in your, uh, in your Animal Crossing game. And I, I like him very much. He was... <laughs> in a very calm and relaxing, uh, very chill game, he was a bright point of chaos and angriness, <laughs> uh, and I appreciate it. Like I liked, I liked it when like <laughs> he would reset your game for you just to teach you a lesson, <laughs> and he would just keep on talking and talking and talking, and and uh, and he would even realize it's like I know that you're just like mashing that button, but I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs> anyway. He is a very nice looking mole guy. I like his little overalls. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he has like a brother and then like he has like the Rossetti squad or something like that. Anyway, I do hope that Mr. Rossetti makes a return in some way, shape or form. And then finally, let's move on to these three. And really the only reason why I'm saving these three till last is because it's got my favorite in here. But in here we have uh, Cyrus and Reese, and then of course also Kay Kay. Right. So Cyrus and Reese, they they run retail, which is that other store, and they're two very nice llamas. There's a very striking difference between the way that their faces look between the two of them, with like Reese's very like flesh colored, and 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 well Cyrus is very flesh colored, and Reese's. And Reese's white painted face makes her look very, uh, like Kabuki warrior. <laughs> uh, also just it makes it, it makes me feel like she's wearing a mask. <laughs> uh, I like their, I like their little aprons. Like the little love hearts are cute. I mean, they're, they're very, very cute. And I, and I like them very much. I like, I like this pompadour. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's like as, as they update some of the characters, like the designs, like they take on like a, 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 a certainly like specifically different look. Like even with uh, even with like Mabel and Blathers, like they're very they're very angular, and these guys they they end up looking more like fluffy and cartoony. Which I, I don't. That's fine. The characters have always sort of looked the way that they should, but uh, it's just neat to see like sort of how NPCs evolve. And then finally. KK, KK Slider, cool man KK, uh, with his little guitar, and I love the fact that there's like some, some wood panel on there. Uh, sad that there aren't strings, but I mean, come on, it's just a little figurine. <laughs> uh, but he's sitting a little stump, ready to rock out and play some cool jams like KK Techno Pop, <clears throat> freestyling it with his guitar. Uh, but anyway, that's basically it. I would go over. Uh, I would go over the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, which I do have. Uh, but sadly, I only ever uh, chased after the the first set, and even then, um, I didn't even get them all. Uh, and I'm kind of sad about that because looking online for these things, they. Did you know that it would cost you about five hundred to six hundred dollars to get every single card that was ever printed for the Amiibo uh, Animal Crossing set these days? That is super, super fucking expensive, and uh, I'm not about that life. So at least I have some of the cards to play with uh, when it comes time for uh, Animal Crossing to come out on the Switch, which is today, tomorrow, depending on when I release this video. Um, with the whole emergency that's happening lately, uh, I'm not able to pick the game up uh, early anymore because 
They don't want to gather people together because that means that it could cause problems. And that's okay. So I'll pick it up the day that it releases and I will pick it up early in the morning and play it all day. But either way, whenever this video comes out, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I love Animal Crossing. I love these little amiibo characters. Which one is your favorite? If I had to pick, it'd be between KK, Rossetti, and Captain. These are like my favorites. Like style-wise, I think that they hit it. They hit it quite well. They've got lots of character to them, especially, especially Captain and Rossetti. Uh, and KK is just cool. But <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.